greasy. I'm just gonna show you a quick snippet of me building up my client's nail. Um, building up my client's apex on her natural nail. And what I mean is basically I am applying sort of an overlay of my builder base coat on top of the natural nail. So I'm using the Nail Thoughts Clear Builder Base, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a base coat and a builder all in one, so it just saves you time. Um, you don't have to like do a builder on top of it if you wanted to add strength. This is all in one. So what I do is I add a thin layer, cover the whole nail, keep it wet, I do not cure it, and then I grab more and I blob some in and bring it all the way down and make sure it adds a little bit of body and an apex to the natural nail so it helps prevent breakage in the future. And that's that. That's what I do with all my clients. And if you want more details, I have a whole gel manicure class that you can get on my website. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> like a corner, like on the bottom, or like up here by the cuticle? Okay. At the tip. Got it. Corner? Corner. Yeah. Um, can we just do all of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really pretty. I like it. It's so pretty. <laughs> Okay, side note, remember when I was talking about building an apex, this is what I mean. I just noticed it, because I didn't show it, and I just noticed it in this shot, and I was like, oof, because it shows the side view. So you can see, like, it's thicker around the area where the nail usually breaks, so it adds strength, and also makes the nail look really pretty. Okay, that's it, carry on. And then the next client got these done somewhere else because she had to go away for a wedding. So we have a couple broken nails that we're going to fix. Like we're going to fix one of the thumbs that is a little cracked and then the pinky and then just do some fun stuff on top.
This is the thumb I was talking about, by the way, that has cracks. See how far up they are? I just wanted to show you how far up they are. So I just decided to just cut the nail off completely because either way it's gonna grow out and break. So I was like, I'm just gonna encase it in a gel extension tip and let it grow out so we don't have to deal with the breaking in the future. And then per usual, I'm gonna do a layer of the clear builder base underneath the gel extension tip and cure it first. Then I'm getting my little, uh, motion sensor light ready for action and per usual i am using my clear builder base for the gel extension tip as well so all i did was put a thin layer on the inside of the tip and scraped it at the cuticle to make that little pool area and to make sure it doesn't overflow into the cuticle i really press it and i don't lift up with my hand placement and watch how satisfying this is I use my other thumb to continue pressing it while my motion sensor light turns on because you want to be pressing it while it's curing because otherwise it'll just not work. So again, here I am. I am doing a layer, scraping a little pool in the cuticle area and having a steady hand and great hand placement as it gently rolls on and cures. And then I reshaped it and everything and then we were ready for a design. Speaking of design, we are a Taylor Swift household over here. We are celebrating midnights. We are celebrating this new era. So she wanted basically to kind of recreate that vinyl look. So watch how I do it. All right, let's see how I want to play this. You know what I'm gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. You know what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna do a layer of the one. opaque one. Cute. Then on top of that, a layer of the sheer one, uh -huh. and then use that wet layer to blob maybe more of the opaque. Okay. Maybe some white, but I actually don't think it's white. I think it's just more light blue. Light blue. And then just hints. Hints. Hint. Some dark blue. So we get that like base layer going. Then my last client of the day came in and these are five weeks old and by the way if you want to watch me do these nails you can go ahead and click this video right here I do them in that video 
Um, but today was exciting because she was like, okay, we need to use more of the volume three colors that are coming out. And I was like, absolutely. And she's like, but I want to be fall. And I was like, absolutely. So we did a little fall swatch party with all new volume three colors. So now I get to tease more colors for you. By the way, we're thinking of launching volume three towards the beginning of December. Just, I don't want to give a date yet because it's like, you never know what's going to happen. What if the labels don't show up in time? You know what I mean? So just, we're hoping for beginning of December. But for now, I'm just going to torture you with more swatches. <laughs> but it'll be fun. We're having a good time. Come on. It's great. Here's, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you a color. You're gonna say yes or no. Okay. Just yes. go with your gut. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Well, we just did this. Yeah, so no. Shrek. No. No. Absolutely not. It's like, we're not going, going to the beach. <laughs> it might not fit because it's pearlescent. Mm. Hey, you thought of it right there. Yep, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oof, God, that one's nice. Then we narrowed down all of our choices to just five colors. Oh, I think that's a good order. That's a great order. I think so too, okay. 